All right, so let us discuss about AWS S3 replication. So the word replication itself says about the tool what actually it does. Okay, so basically uh, AWS S3 allows you to automatically copy objects from one source to another, right? So that is source bucket to destination bucket. Now we, here we have two options that we can either copy the object from same account or across accounts. Okay, and what are the use cases? Why actually we can use uh, this? thing actually you can use this for disaster recovery the one of the main uh, important thing that you can use replication for or for data backup you can keep a copy of your data in a difficult uh, in a sorry different region uh, for a disaster recovery or even you can use it for data distribution let's say if there is a file that uh, uh, from your office there are people who want to access and there are few people those are sitting on another location and they want to uh, use the same copy right so storing copy of our data closer to the user in different geographical region reduce the latency okay and also it can be used for compliance purpose basically it, it is used for ensuring the data is stored in multiple location as required by certain regulations right and uh, what are two types of replications as i mentioned earlier you can copy from one region to another or from one account to another right so we have two sort of replications what is a cross region replication also known as CRR. So what CRR does, it copies data from a bucket to a different AWS region. However, uh, when we uh, come to uh, SRR, that is same region replication, it copies data from a bucket within the same region. Okay. So it's like just US East 1 to US East 2. Okay. So replication can only be set up on uh, new and updated object and uh, that will only be replicated. So let's consider you have an S3 bucket where you have a number of objects and then you are enabling the replication set, right? So at that time, only the uh, objects which are uploaded uh, after the replication is enabled, those will be highlighted on the destination ones. However, uh, the existing one won't be replicated. There is another thing in order to replicate uh, your uh, existing object that is a batch replication option that you can enable to uh, copy entire uh, object s3 bucket to that specific region right so yeah and also if there is an object which you have been updating uh, that will also be uh, replicated there but provided the condition here versioning should be enabled right now uh, let's talk about delete marker so like uh, what will happen to delete marker right so delete marker it can replicate delete markers from source to destination target right so just like it is copying the object it will also copy the de uh, delete markers as well right that was all about the theoretical part of s3 replication and let us see the actual demonstration in the following video where we are going to actually see how does aws s3 replication works all right thank you so much